that report there. Next, we head to Nigeria because Nigerian business owners in Ghana are left frustrated after their business places we are shut down as the Ghana government imposes the law that bans foreign national from retail business operations in the country. According to local business owners, the Nigerians have been disrupting the local business activities, but they have refuted the claims and are now demanding for their government to intervene to resolve the disagreement. Experts say the latest business dispute in Ghana may affect the trade agreement in the continent. Here's more details of that. A clamp down on foreign-owned retail businesses in Accra's commercial hub. The government says it is enforcing the law that bars foreigners from retail trade by locking up shops. It's particularly affecting Nigerian traders. Local traders are accusing Nigerians of destroying the local market, but the Nigerian retailers disagree. This protest at the Nigerian High Commission in Ghana is a call to the Nigerian government to help resolve the trade dispute. We just feel that it's so draconian, it's so harsh, and um, it is it's punitive in nature, the way we say it. And we feel that uh, Ghana and Nigeria, be looking at our past history, uh, that brotherliness, that, you know, it is, we need to sit down and look at it and see how we can coexist. How these laws can be, I mean, even if it's not uh, ratified, I mean, it's not uh, put aside or, if there could be some little concession that we give room for Nigerian businesses to operate. Ghana's law requires that foreigners invest $1 million in their business before engaging in retail trade, something the Nigerian traders want reviewed. In this commercial hub, some people prefer to deal with Nigerian traders because their goods are often cheaper. Tension between local and Nigerian traders operating within the retail space has been simmering for a couple of years. But, as it never got resolved, the situation has worsened this year as the government tries to make things right. Ghana is hosting the Secretariat of the Africa Continental Free Trade Area that it's hoped will open the market for 1.2 billion people on the continent. However, diplomatic relations with Africa's largest economy, Nigeria, has been strained after a building under construction at the residence of the Nigerian High Commissioner in Accra was demolished in June. Experts say the trade disputes could affect the implementation of the trade agreement. The government has established a committee uh, on retail trade uh, for foreigners. And that committee has, again, a plan of action that is being implemented to guide us in terms of our trading relationships with other countries. As part of the AFCFTO mechanism, it goes beyond our uh, trading with our neighbors in ECOWAS. This is intra-African trade. And so the same kind of mechanisms will be developed to allow the free flow of goods between um, uh, Ghana and other, other countries. The Nigerian government says it will take the case to the ECOWAS court if negotiation with the Ghanaian government for reopening of the shops fails in the hope of unlocking this trade dispute.